we meet in this we are in Jerusalem in the place where it all began for all of us especially if you're a Christian person in other words you're not Jewish by root and you come to salvation and the knowledge of Jesus Christ through the cross behind me above this grotto is where the cross stood where Jesus was crucified and of course you all remember that at that point he exclaimed it is finished what was finished his part was finished in other words this huge stumbling block that prevented man from coming into the relationship with the father was removed totally nothing left but then he was put in the grave which is just down below on his resurrection one of the messages was you and i have to take up our cross and follow in his footsteps i'm paraphrasing but that's the modern day understanding of english that will help us to see where we are where we are and what we're supposed to do so he finished his part and now it's up to us to finish our part what is that part you see at creation in genesis the lord god had created men for a very specific purpose which was to be fruitful to multiply replenish the earth so do the enemy the very enemy that overpowered man in the garden of eden and he lost all the power all the authority to ever really subdue him and cast him out of the earth and fill the earth with the glory of the lord as it was in the garden that's what what it was so that when jesus will say things that seem so too much or insurmountable you will do greater things than i have done you see because he came to show the way see when you show the way you don't do everything you actually show people how to do the work or how to walk the walk and then after that you say now you go you have your everything and having given us power given us authority in his name the power the power of the holy spirit he says now you can do it you can go back and restart the mission as it was proclaimed in the garden which is to subdue the enemy amongst being fruitful multiplication that we have to do you see in the context of the gospels it says go ye into the world make disciples of all nations teaching them to observe all and that part is in fact a fulfillment and an extraction from what is said in the garden so we have a cross to bear we have a task to do we have a job to do we're not just waiting for him to come we're not just waiting for him to return but we actually have a part to fulfill to actually accelerate his return it's con it's contingent on us doing our part and there is glory at the end of the day you remember jesus showed us the way in other words from the cross to the grave from the grave through resurrection to the highest place in all of creation at the right hand of the father and he made that pathway for all of us to follow well we when we die to ourselves we pick up his cross and walk to our own death if you will like so when we die to ourselves we get the resurrection a new life truly and fully in our lives and we rise up at the end of our day to the highest place as well that we could attain that the lord himself has prepared for us in heaven so let's walk in that power and shrug off the tradition about the season of passover you know which has been robbed and watered down to just while we saved it's okay when the time is up you just go to heaven No, 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 no. God had so much more imp- important uh, victory and benefits of that cross for all of us that are still available today. I want to challenge you with that weight. It's a sobering thought, but just go through the Gospels, Jesus Christ, over and over, over and over. Remain in me. You know, remain in me because I'm the vine. But follow me. Take up your cross. You know, and uh, leave the things of this world. All of that is just to prepare us to walk the path he has walked in heaven done so so that we can rise up with true benefits true inheritance true riches heavenly riches which is a place for us in heaven throughout eternity that we get to retain I just want to bless you with that 
and uh, as I said, just to go through it and leave nothing there to old understanding, religious understanding and its limitations because it's going to try and package you into a box where you just sit where you are and don't do anything. Cry out to God in Jesus' name and you will have the victory. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.